Welcome back to Crafting with Kara. Today is a great craft. Stay tuned. In today's video, you're going to need this Dollar Tree 4th of July USA sign. So cute. You're going to need this mat, one place mat. So the first thing I did was I went ahead and turned it away backwards and I traced out the mason jar onto the place mat. All right. Then after tracing it out, I had a very faint line. It was pretty tricky to follow it, but anyway, I cut along the lines. Yes, it was so tricky that I did make a mistake. I had to go back over it and retrace um, a little edge and I still didn't get it perfect. Went ahead and got my Waverly chalk paint and I mixed two colors, a gray with the Waverly chalk paint to make the lid on a mason jar. All right, now I went ahead and put a, lo a lot of Mod Podge on top of my mason jar. That is not what I was intending for, but let's try and see what can happen here. <laughs> oh, gosh. <sighs> Whoops. All right, now I'm going to show you my example of a lazy bow. I went and had these two things from the Dollar Tree, some ribbon, cut it in half, hot glue the scent, the end, took that floral wrap and found a middle spot, wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. It's floral wire, wire sorry. And then I'm just gonna fluff out the ends and there you go, a lazy bow. All right, back to my project. I wanna make sure that I smooth out a lot of bubbles. This took a long time. I just took a paper towel and I pushed over and over and over <laughs> just to go ahead and make sure there wasn't any bubbles. Um, yeah, so this took quite a while. I just wanted. All right, next, I'm just going to take some twine and wrap it just a little bit, wrap it around, hot glue it in place on the back. Careful not to burn your finger. And yes, here we go. Just putting it on and wrap it around one, two, I think I did it three times. Hot glue the back in place, maybe four times there. <laughs> just to kind of make it look embellished so there's a differentiation between the mat and the lid. Hot glue it on the back. Here, keep it in place. All right, now I'm going to add my lazy bow. Mm, I think I'll put it right there. It looks pretty cute because there's not a lot going up there. Let's put some hot glue. And then I'm still missing something, so I'm gonna add some little pieces of I think this is boxwood I found this at Walmart it's 97 cents a bunch and it's always there and it's fantastic uh, maybe this isn't the box but I don't know <laughs> but anyway I found this at Walmart about three months ago all right well I think I need to put the bare one at the top and there you go I think that's pretty good I had a little difficulty here I went ahead and Put the original burlap or the twine um, hanger back in its place, but sorry about this footage right here. I had a really hard time. I hot glued it to my mat. So, um, yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. Home sweet home mason jar. It's looking so cute in my kitchen. It's just bringing in some really awesome summer vibes because we all are ready for a big mason jar of lemonade. I hope that you like this project. I sure did like it. And in the end, it only cost me $3 at the Dollar Tree. Hey, if you go to Hobby Lobby, you can spend a lot more than $3. All right, well, I hope that you like this project as much as I do. Here is my next project. It's just a real quick one. I took these from the Dollar General and from 99 cent store. Super cute. Little pig and a little cow. And, <clears throat> and then I got this. Yes, there's the, oh, and I forgot about the sheep. <laughs> I got some burlap um, 
from 99 or Dollar Tree, excuse me. And then this other, I pre-measured already. See, I spaced it apart about three inches each. I put little cardboard there and I'm gonna just put some hot glue there. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my sweet little farmhouse signs and just glue them. I didn't really know what else to do with them, so I thought I'll make a sign, a long, cute little sign to go in a little space in my kitchen that needed some loving. All right, there's my little bash sheep, looking so cute, chicken wire and all. And here's the final product, looking so cute in my kitchen in this little tricky space. All right, well, thanks for coming, and always remember, it's better to be in a toxic relationship with Dollar Tree than anyone else. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!